It was astonishing on like three or four different levels because I thought that maybe my mother would come through and I could say, I miss you and I'm sorry and goodbye. But what happened was, number one, the validation, which is crazy for people who maybe haven't done this before and don't realize what kind of validation. Rebecca talked about what um, a conversation I'd had with my husband the night before in our bedroom alone. She said to me, um, your mom is showing me a Broadway playbill, why? And that morning, my best friend and I had given her daughter Hamilton tickets for her 16th birthday. I mean, just validation at a level that it is it sinks in like you all of a sudden get this this is real my, my mother is here in the room with us i mean so so having to wrap your whole head around that is one level the second thing i absolutely didn't expect was deep healing so i just wanted to know what happened are you okay but what came through were these messages like hey shannon um I didn't know what you did for a career, and I wasn't really into psychology, but I watch what you do now, and I'm so proud of you. You know, moments like that again and again and again. So that, um, that was really surprising. I had healing at a level I could have paid for years of therapy. And I'm a therapist. I don't downplay the importance of therapy. I could never have gotten what I got in two hours. I'm sorry for not showing up for your children as much as I should have. I'm watching over them now. H how do you get that? So, um, so there was deep healing. There was the validation that was astonishing. There was, um, there was purpose given. Like I I've come back again and again because the two things that I'll keep coming for now that I've had that healing is sort of a, um, by the way, your guides and your mom love that you're doing this book. What? You know, it's one thing when your really good friends who love you up or your family says, oh, we support you doing that thing. It's another thing when Rebecca and your people who are coming from a place of love and enlightenment say, you're on the right path, you're doing this thing. And I mean, once again, not expected and unbelievable. So, so yeah, between healing and validation and kind of what are you supposed to be doing in life? What is this life about? Maybe getting focused on love instead of anger in the world. Um, yeah, and I will say the last thing that I get really out of the group as opposed to the individual, because I've done an individual reading too, in the group setting, you get um, these parallel messages, which she talks about, but I didn't really know what she meant by that. But the parallel messages, sometimes they're big in a group, sometimes they, you're, they're a little bit more obscure, but if you keep going back and listening to the tape, and what I get, what I understand by parallel messages at this point is that four people in the group can be doing something new in their work career and dealing with fear and trepidation about it and that all these different spirits, their spirits, your guides, come in and say, hey, this is good, this is meaningful, do this. And so you get it in multiple ways coming at you for different messages. And I almost prefer the small groups. There's something really special about that. So I'd say those were kind of the top four things I get.